everybody, it's Jody again, a business development manager with Avon Canada. I just posted about the Avon generated leads and I thought there was um, some great feedback about it. So I wanted to address that because there was some great conversation. Some people have been talking about, yes, they love Avon generated leads, but not all of them convert or place orders or don't return your calls or never get back to you. So let's talk this out for a minute. There's a couple of reasons for this. So we want to look at ourselves and what are we contributing to the conversation. So first and foremost, when you connect with your contracted, are you making it all about you and the company? Do you put yourself and the company aside and find out what her or his needs are? So it's something as simple as, hey, Jody from Avon, I'm a unit leader. Congratulations on starting your business. How exciting for you. Tell me, what brought you to Avon? And leave it at that. Because when we tend to throw up about the company and ourselves and want to book meetings and tell her everything that we love and, and appreciate about Avon, we overwhelm the person. So a small mindset shift, think about her perspective. Leave yourself, your beliefs, your knowledge at home. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the person in front of you. So congratulations, you've started this great business. What brought you to Avon? Because when you understand and know why she's doing it and what her needs are, you can then better help support her in a mentor mentality, not babysitting, mentoring. And when you start that conversation and that engagement with her and she responds back because people like to talk about themselves, she wants to tell you why she wanted to start a business, that engages conversation, it leads to the next conversation, it leads to more um, uh, getting to booking the appointment, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Also, to that point too, is the 10-3-1 formula. And you will find this in much more detail in your ultimate success guide in the share section, module six. What this is showing you is when you're out in the field and you're talking to people on a regular basis, when you talk to 10 people, typically three will become contracted and out of three, one will place an order. And that's when you're out in the field. So when you have Avon generated leads, those are people who have woken up and said, I want to start an Avon business today and signed in. So your conversion rate tends to be higher than when you're out in the field. But having that concept in place, if you have 10 contracted uh, or even five contracted, are all five going to place? Maybe, maybe not, depends on what your skill set is, where your conversion is. These are things that you need to know for your business. But how many contracted do you need? And out of those contracted, how many are placing their first order? And what is your part that you're playing in that conversation? Is it all about her? Okay. Also, once you do have your contracted, you're having those conversations with her. I'm going to share my screen super quick with you. I just want to show you where you can find information about training this representative for powerful success. When you go to Info Center, whoops, when you go to Info Center, leadership support, and you scroll down, okay, right here is all of the information and the process you need. In every conversation that you're having with her, it's here. Here is her welcome to Avon. So after you find out what she wants to do with her business, then welcome her to Avon. She gets the business guide in her first order, okay? Talking about, you know, did you call 48 hours later? Does she understand the benefits of achieving gold in the first six campaigns? Then you've got down here more tools, the ultimate success guide, top seller contacts, contact number one, contact number two. This is all talking about the go for gold. So use the tools available to you. Let's summarize. Yes, there will be contracted who will not place orders, but what is your conversion and what is that conversation you're having with her? Are you leaving yourself at home and it's all about the person sitting in front of you? Okay. Are you talking to enough people? One of my favorite things that somebody ever said in a conference that I saw was she came up on stage and she said, you know, a lot of people ask me, how many people should I talk to in a week to grow my business? And, you know, tons of people said five, 10, 20, whatever. But the answer is more than you're talking to now. And I thought that was so powerful. So 
where are you sharing that awareness? Are they bringing in the contracted? Is your conversion rate? And then when they do come in, are you retaining them sustainably and profitably? Because did you give them the information they need to be powerful, right? Now, again, this is don't babysit. You still want to show them where this information is and should they wanna do it themselves, that's great too. We're empowering people. That's what we do. We're a company of choices. Hope that helped. Bye for now.